Our next presenter, scene two, Hope Anger. Nationally recognized artist, artists, Hope and Fred Anger, have been working together as interior decorative painters and design consultants for over 30 years. Although their work is influenced by the traditional decorative arts, their painting techniques have been adapted to satisfy both traditional and contemporary tastes. The Angers live in their recently constructed and personally designed upside down house in Hope, Maine with their Rhodesian Ridgeback Kizuri. Kizuri. Friend Barbara said that Hope not only, she, that she not only enjoyed working with Hope, but also hearing her stories about sailing. She and Fred have sailed just about everywhere except the North Pole. Barbara thinks Hope has a truly original vision grounded in the folk art tradition. Just do not call her work cute. <laughs> her friend Steven says, my relationship with Hope started when she asked me to build her house. It quickly became clear to me that she was less interested in my own artistic expression and more interested in my ability and sensitivity as a means to help her express her own vision for the project. I come to know Hope, come to know Hope as someone with exceptional talent at using color and patterns to manipulate three-dimensional space. She is extremely driven and uncompromising as an artist and literally lives her work. I think of her as someone who doesn't settle. She keeps pushing her vision until it, it's just the way she wants it. She is an inspiration to those of us who are searching for satisfaction from creative expression. This grand yet tranquil mural was influenced by the Hudson River School, painted in oil in a five by nine foot windowless bathroom. This sweeping landscape visually pushes out the walls and makes a small confining space into a more open and inviting place. Murals and the tasteful application of color, detail, and design offer a refreshing alternative to the utilitarian sameness prevalent in many contemporary schematics. Whether I'm creating a mural for a bathroom, a hallway, or a dining room, the process involves four basic steps. First, I create a sketch drawn to scale. This gives me and my clients a roadmap to follow. Second, after transferring the framework of the design onto the wall using chalk, I brush on oil glazes to create background colors, making sure I always keep a wet edge. Third, once the background washes are allowed to dry, I paint on the various motifs using artist's oils. The last phase involves adding details, such as rigging lines to ships, doors and windows to houses, and landscape features such as stone walls, fences, foliage, and flowers. Trompe l'oeil means to fool the eye. Here we added a bank of trompe l'oeil painted windows and a checkered floor to this dark hallway. The winter scene out each window creates the illusion of light. Left open all winter, your house will never lose a degree of heat. Here we use the trick of trompe l'oeil to turn this closet into a book nook. Classics line the shelves above a raised panel wainscot. The checkered floor draws out the blue bottle and many of the leather-bound books. The ladder back chair is real. To create these colorful Tuscan scenes, we combine trompe l'oeil techniques with mural painting. This demonstrates how by merely adjusting the subject matter and changing the colors on a palette, we can accommodate an infinite variety of styles and tastes. This photo illustrates the effect of combining a faux grain finish on the styles of cabinet doors with a nautical mural painted on the panels. A bland wall of gray becomes a warm and subtle point of interest in a room that was previously monochromatic and uninspiring. The matching faux grain finish added to the base of the kitchen island and the drawer fronts throughout the rest of the room becomes the thread that connects the entire space. In 
Introducing appropriate decorative painting to walls, woodwork, floors, or furniture offers unlimited choices that can serve to enhance the schematics of any interior. Our goal is to give each space we work on its own personality while enabling the house as a whole to be cohesively connected and understated. Small pantries allow you to integrate a wide variety of painting techniques without overwhelming the whole. These images show how faux grain finishes, color washing, and murals were combined with decorated floors. Another technique offers a distinctive look to sheathed walls. First, Fred applied a coat of red paint, followed by several layers of muting washes. The washes allow the grain to show through, adding depth to the original color. An application of waxes gives these walls the appearance of rich mahogany. In this open adjoining space, the red color washing was carried over and applied to the reproduced grain box and the tavern grate that were effectively used to divide the kitchen from the dining area. In addition, a faux grain finish was added to the drawer fronts. Fred's color washing technique was applied to the kitchen cabinets, the island, and a sheathed wall using a base coat of green instead of red. Wall stenciling is one of the most recognized early American decorative arts. This authentic design was recreated using a combination of hand-cut stencils and oil paints. The photo below showcases two of our own bold complementary colors, a simple motif on the stair risers, and a portion of one of our ship paintings. Here we applied oil glazes to walls creating a Tuscan sun-bleached patina, compassed roses on the stair risers to break the monotony of white walls and woodwork, and a trompe-l'oeil open hearth fireboard fit inside a mantle that allows anyone to have a fireplace anywhere. Geometric design can add distinction to a variety of spaces. Note how a change in color creates a different effect on each of the two staircases. Below, one of our checkered floors is integrated with a black mop board. Here we see a stair riser mural complemented by a checkered floor, a theorem painting on peach tinted velvet, a trompe l'oeil fire screen, and how a splash of color inside a cupboard is a great way to add vitality and interest to a room. Lifted from the pages of my children's book, Harmony, Land of the Four Seasons, these whimsical designs have been adapted to decorate the walls of a child's bedroom. In keeping with this fanciful theme, woodland creatures were created to embellish a small bureau. In closing, I want to thank our loyal staff who have always had the final say over all of our endeavors. As you can see, there were some who took their responsibilities more seriously than others. We invite you to visit our house in Hope, where many examples of interior decorative painting are showcased. Thank you. Hope, that was wonderful. Your friend Stephen was right. It's an amazing use of color and patterns, patterns to manipulate space.